Good morning, everybody. So today is Friday, and we prepared our bed um, yesterday, and I still have the plastic and everything on it, and I want to um, share with you guys what we're going to be uh, planting for my fall uh, growing season. So I have some Nanty Supreme Carrots. I also have some heirloom variety. Um, these are Chantenay Carrots. And I'm going to be planting some um, heirloom. This is mixed color Swiss chard. And I'm going to do some beets. And I'm also going to do some spinach. So this is what we're going to be planting. And these are winter hardy varieties. And anything with a tuber or a root on it, um, you can't really go wrong. So uh, I'm going to uncover our plastic here. And we're going to get started pull this back oh look at that look how beautiful uh, this soil is that we prepared yesterday so my first thing that I want to do on the inside is I want to do my uh, spinach so let me turn this a little bit so you guys can see and we're gonna put our spinach uh, right here we're gonna just make a little line this is where we're gonna put it and today, because it's cooler temperatures, is a great time to, uh, to really get these babies in. Um, it, I think it's going to rain, but I'm not really sure. And make sure that when you're planting your seeds that you don't uh, plant too deep. Uh, because a lot of these, um, when they go to germinate, they'll be too deep and then they'll just uh, dry rot or wet rot in the soil. So on the back of your seed packet is always... You're going to find everything, the zone, um, how the depth, uh, the seed spacing, everything. Everything you need to know about that seed is going to be on the back of the package. And we got a lot of seeds uh, from the uh, MI Gardener. And these are only, um, I think Alicia said 99 cents. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me see. And the spacing is about one centimeter. So... This is going to be great. It'll fill up this whole row. And you don't necessarily have to uh, follow the instructions, but you want to give your seeds um, adequate spacing to uh, germinate. You don't want to overcrowd uh, your vegetables when you're planting um, because you want them when, you, uh, when they start coming up. They don't want to be, you don't want to crowd them out. Yeah. So I'm going to make mine, a, my row a little bit thicker than normal. Uh, just because I have um, other stuff. You can see there's, there's a lot of seeds in there. And I think I'm going to save some of them. And then we're just going to lightly cover them up. <clears throat> lightly cover them. Get that guy in there. And I don't recommend uh, patting them down too tight just for uh, growth reasons. Oh, yeah, this is going to be really great, guys. We got our spinach, and yep, I'm just going to leave it just like that. There we go. All right, so. First thing we did was spinach. Now the next thing I'm going to do is beets. And beets need, um, their spacing is also one inch, but the depth is a half an inch. So we put our spinach right there. We're going to skip. And I, I use my hand to fan out, especially for tuberous, because they take a little bit of uh, more room because their tops are a lot bigger. And I'm just using my finger to make the row of these guys. And this is a half an inch. A half an inch, so it looks about right. All right. This is gonna be great, guys. All right, and on these um, Detroit Red beets, the spacing is uh, about an inch as well. So I'm just gonna put some of these in my hand. 
and again I like to do mine kind of close so we're gonna do because I really like um, I like it when they're um, when they come in they come in really full so um, and you know you can you can um, plant them anyhow that you guys want just remember not to uh, put them terribly close together because you kind of want to give them a little bit of room to branch out and spread so we're just going to and if you plant too close uh, you can always thin them later remember that so the most important thing is really to uh, to get them in the ground <laughs> yeah so that they can start germinating that is the most important thing all right and I got a couple extras and we're just gonna put those right back in there okay and then we're just gonna lightly cover yep lightly cover and we're we definitely do not want to pack guys you never want to pack you can pat it down a little bit but you don't want to pack too heavily now my next thing I'm gonna do is Swiss chard and I've never actually grown Swiss chard I wanted to earlier but the beds that we did uh, we didn't actually get a chance uh, to do it so All right, and on this guy, on the back, the depth is three quarter inches and the spacing is six inches. So three quarter and six inches. So you know, this, this comes up a little bit uh, bigger. So I used my whole hand to uh, space that out. I'm excited to grow uh, a couple different things. I haven't, we haven't actually uh, grown Swiss chard, but everybody says it's really um, easy to grow. So I'm kind of, and the spacing was six inches, but I'm only going to spread this every three inches. And like I said before, uh, you can space them because not all of them will come up. I'm doing three inches on mine. Uh, just because I I know some of these seeds probably will not germinate so it's okay if you put a couple extra in there because you can always uh, thin them later guys yeah you can always thin them later remember that when you're planting and there's really no um, there's really no right way or wrong way when you're planting uh, the key is just to get them in there because you can always adjust your crop later. If you find that uh, they're getting a little crowded, you can always thin them yourself. All right, so we got our Swiss chard in, guys. So the next thing is our carrots. And my carrots, um, how I really want to do this is I really just want to kind of broadcast them. Uh, I don't really want to plant in rows. But it says on the back of these, um, you plant a half an inch and one inch depth. And then it says to go back and, no, nope, get out. It says to go back later and thin them. So let's see what we can, uh, maybe a row. I'm not really sure. <laughs> We're going to kind of wing this, guys. Oh, look, there's a grasshopper. Cricket it in there and get his butt out okay so let's uh, yeah let's start doing some carrots guys this is really exciting and let's move the camera down a little bit so you guys can kind of see what we're doing okay <clears throat> all right and I have two two kinds and we're just gonna get these in guys yeah get these guys in Here. 
And the, your rows don't have to be perfect, guys. Remember that as well. They don't have to be perfect. And that's kind of crooked, but that's okay. We're going to do two rows of these guys. Wow. That's a lot of seeds. So we actually might be able to get uh, three rows. Let's straighten this guy. This row up here. Yeah, let's straighten this, this row up here. And I planted carrots uh, last year and they came up really great. The only thing that happened was that the oh shoot i'm gonna have to flip this over uh the moles got to the roots and i had a heck of a time getting any at all because they ate uh they ate the roots underneath the ground and we're gonna plant these kind of thick because um like i said before uh, many of them may not come up and we can always thin them later. All right, I got two rows of those guys. And I don't know about you guys, but I love carrots. And what's great about carrots is you can overwinter them, put some mulch on top, and uh, you can keep them right in the ground. Yep, a lot of people don't know that about carrots, but they're very winter hardy. Very, very winter hardy, so. Okay, got them guys in, and let's do our last ones, guys, which is this variety right here. This is a Chantanay. Okay, and one right here, and one guy right here. I don't know if anybody um, else is going to do a winter garden, but um, me and Alicia thought we would give it a try just to kind of see if we could extend our growing season. Because I really love uh, being out in the garden and um, having the experience of kind of experimenting with what works and what doesn't work. She's just kind of along for the ride. She likes to eat, so, and I like to grow, so it's a great, great opportunity for, for us to try new things together. Emery! And once again, the boy. <laughs> I'm always chasing the boy, guys. Okay. All right, and we got the Chantonese in, and we're just going to cover those guys up, too. Yep. Cover these up. Emery! Alright. Yeah, the um, soil mixture that I use is going to be really great because it's uh, like a potting soil mix. And then there's um, soil and stuff underneath that. So that concludes our um, fall planting, guys. And what's going to be really great is that I have all these hardy, hardy varieties with the spinach... Uh, the beets, the Swiss chard, uh, the Nantes Supreme carrots, and then my uh, Chantonet carrots. So um, when you're doing a fall garden, make sure that you kind of keep your fall varieties, what's hardy, in mind. And, uh, and just kind of play with it, guys. Find out what's best for your uh, growing zone and run with it. So thank you all for watching. We're going to cover this back up. We're going to give it a little water. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have a great Friday.